Hello shooters, thank you for watching. Today's episode of TI Go to School is which hand grip for the CZ Scorpion? Man versus gun. Hello shooters, you don't have to change out the pistol grip on the CZ Scorpion. I did because I think the one that on it is on it is the wrong angle, but let me explain to you why it's the wrong angle. So here's a number of pistol grips I have laid out on a, uh, a level here just to give a flat surface where I get some correct angle measurements. We have the CZ uh, down here, the M16A2, AK, the Apex, which I'm putting on the Scorpion, and then a Magpul K2+. Plus. I noticed when I was doing this that the front strap and back strap were different angles on nearly all of them. So this, this number down here is an average of the two. But note that the CZ is pretty... Uh, you know, quite a different angle, about the same as the A2. And then here we come to Mikhail's uh, pistol grip on the AK. He, <laughs> you know, back in 1947, dude got it pretty good because uh, the AK's got a short length of pull, so it's gonna it's gonna crank that wrist if you don't have a a more gentler angle like this. The Apex is a average of a 71, uh, and the uh, the K2 is a 72, so it's about the same as a Magpul K2 Plus grip. Uh, so this is why I chose the Apex, because it's similar to the AK and the uh, Magpul K2 Plus. So here is the pistol grip that comes on the CZ Scorpion. And as you saw in the picture, this is steep. It's a different angle. Here's why it matters. If you're shooting a handgun, it doesn't really matter. You can have your wrist like this. Some of the Olympic style uh, air guns and 22s have their wrist really bent like that. And you could have it anywhere in there. As long as your arm is straight, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but as soon as then you bend your elbow by having your wrist bent a lot like that, it puts more tension in the fingers, particularly the trigger finger. Some people don't notice this, some people do. I'm one of the ones that notice it. That's why I don't like uh, pistol grips of this angle. Let me show you what I mean here. I'll bring this up. This angle right here, since this pistol grip is pushed back, since it's angled back like this, it causes my wrist to be bent more when I have my elbow down. Now when you have your elbow like this, like you know, target shooting style, it doesn't really matter either. When you drop it down like this for more tactical styles, also to keep your elbow from getting shot, then that does, you can, you can actually feel it. You know, if you have a pistol grip of this angle, when you drop your elbow down, you can feel the tension building in your fingers and in this hand, actually. Here's the OEM pistol grip side, and you can see there that my wrist starts to break right there because of the different angle. Here we are, the apex pistol grip. You can see the wrist is almost straight all the way to the gun. There's the brake. And it does bring tension into the wrist and the trigger finger. You can feel it. And there, you know, it's not much. It's only 10 degrees difference, but it's enough to make the wrist straight like that. And So the apex pistol grip is the one that we chose. There's others. They're just, you know, just as high a quality and everything else. We both just knew that Apex would produce quality product. So that's where I was switched out the pistol grip. That's where I went with the Apex. Uh, to me and to my buddy, this is a lot nicer to shoot this way when you're when you're when you're all buttoned up, elbow down, uh, gun in tight, puts less stress on the hand, less stress on the trigger finger, allows you to work the trigger a little bit faster. Um, less stress is a good thing, no matter what area of life we're talking about, less stress is a good thing. So, if you feel the tension in your wrist and in your trigger finger with the Issue CZ uh, pistol grip, I suggest you change it. If you, if you have or haven't changed it, please post it down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, let's continue conversation down there. Again, thank you for watching. Appreciate all the shares, likes, and subscribes. And as always, ensure that your training and your practice is preparing you for the real world, your real world, and not for the fantasy land of the shooting range. Have a nice day.